welcome back everyone to my third Diamond Art Club unboxing. It's Bronwyn once again with Big Sky Diamond Painting. Today we are going to be unboxing the third painting from the haul of the sale for Diamond and Ruby members of Diamond Art Club. And this one is yet another Mandy Manzano. Excuse my reach. Uh, this one is Zuzu Love, which I have had my eye on for ages. Basically, since it came out, I think it is gorgeous. Um, and just, you know, just another Mandy Manzano that looks freaking amazing as a diamond painting. Um, I've seen a few people get this. And I just am in love with it. So I am pretty excited to finally have it. Okay, so let's get started on this one. Put these aside. I hope that you are all doing well today. I... Well, I'm filming this the same time I filmed the other ones, but I'm still kind of, you know, recovering from a rough couple weeks. Oh, and this is, I love going through, um, like, one package of Diamond Art Clubs and seeing ones that have been packaged at all different times and having just the experience of seeing different things. So this one is in the opaque bag period where they were all packaging the drills inside with the painting. So, actually before I open that, let's go over the kit. Because again, for these four, since I'm doing them separately, I'm going to do proper full unboxings. Okay, so we've got our square tool kit, which includes magic applicator. This, with the pen grip, which we shall slide on for space. And a multi-placer, which looks like it's a, yeah, we got a six-placer here. Again, not my favorite, but for such a big painting, not a terrible choice. And I have my own um, handmade diamond painting pens that I use anyway. We have two, tray, two plates of heart-shaped wax. This one got a little mauled, but the nice thing about wax is it's malleable, and it doesn't matter if it got mauled. And we have our clear tray with the funnel. Not the one that I use, but it is useful for when you need it. Baggies. Again, never enough for all your colors. So I recommend that if you do store your extras in baggies or kit up from baggies, that you buy more. But I always have more on hand anyway. So again not something that I need to worry about. And then, again, we have nice tweezers. See, this, I um, I unboxed Lips Like Morphine previously, and it had a, like a, a more malleable tweezer cover. So definitely different covers on these, but the same pointy, really pointy tweezers. Um, I mean, you could probably use these even to pluck your eyebrows, but I don't know why you'd want to. You probably already have nice ones. All right, so keep the cover on. They will stab you. Very nice toolkit. Again, only the square toolkits come with tweezers. I guess because some people use square, use tweezers to put place squares. I don't. I like using the the pen, but to each their own. There's no wrong way to do this, guys. I mean, I guess there is a wrong way. It's not sticking the diamonds to the canvas. Don't know why, why you'd want to do that. That's kind of the point of diamond painting. But there you have it. All right, we're going to flip this over and start rolling her backwards. This one's pretty loosely rolled, so it shouldn't be... shouldn't need too much flattening. Nine steps to diamond painting. You've 
seen it, probably. If you want to see more of it, go to their website. They have it on there. Two bags of drills. This is the, the time when they weren't putting a date on there. So we just have our bags of drills. I'm going to set those aside for a moment. And then we're just going to unroll this beautiful, beautiful canvas. Okay. All right. So this is, this pretty much takes up my whole table. Well, half of the table, this half of the table. Um, but lengthwise this way, it takes up the whole table. So I am going to start here and just slide it down slowly so that you can see the entire thing. And I'm sorry about the glare. That's the downside to the clear covers as they do have a glare. And I'm under here somewhere is where I put my toolkit. So I'm going to apparently dump things out of it. Put that aside. And we will stay focused on these two lovely faces while I go over things about the kit. 42 colors. We have one AB, it looks like. And it is 141. So all these little white bits here are accented with Aurora Borealis. I think this was one of the first square ABs that came out. I don't think it was the first, but it was one of the first ones. Um, so, you know, it just really... <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm just looking at it and thinking how pretty it is. Um, I love this color palette. I love that it's like purple and orange and red and you know, I like that it's not really like the traditional, um, like purple and green, um, New Orleans colors, but, um, I just, I think these two are so beautiful. I can't get over it. This, yeah. I feel like I'm saying this each time I open one of these, but this might be my next painting when I get done with my obligation, all my obligations. Okay, so I don't really want to completely unfurl this one because um, there's there's a crap load of three tens. There's some nine thirty eight. That's I think a lot of the. Let me see. Yep, so that's all these L's. So it's a lot of in here and some of his skin tone and then a lot of the, you know, the skin tone and then the, the browns that are out in the feathers and everything. Um, we've got some 310, 310, 310, 3371, which I think is a really dark brown. And that one is, yeah, this really dark, dark brown bits in all the shadows and, and dark parts of the headdresses and everything. And then on the very tail end here, we have 301 and 743. One of my 740s, lovely oranges and a nice kind of tan brown. And there's, oh, well, he disappeared on me, but there's like a piece of flash in there. You know, the part that connects the the diamonds together when they're when they come out of the mold that made it through the screening process. All right, so this one I'm just going to leave in its close to original format. All right, so this one we'll get a little more into since it's not literally just blacks and browns with a tiny bit of orange at the end. All right, so. Start going through this string. So there's our purples. More purples. Ooh, 550. See, this one, I feel like 
it's weird because the last time I unboxed a 550 in Diamond Art Club, I felt like it was really dark. But this one looks like 550 is supposed to look. So I don't know. I really do think that maybe at, one, at some point they did get just a bad batch of drills. Ooh. Nice. Another 740 orange. And there's the 740. The 740s, I'm telling you, man. 740, 741, 742, 743. There's our, our ABs, our 141s. Really pretty. 947. It's like kind of a nice red orange. Some browns. I love, I know browns kind of get a brown, bad rap, but I love brown. I love a good brown. But you guys know that about me. I love all the colors. There's not really a color I don't like. This is kind of a blood red. Another nice brown. These are so pretty. Ooh, that's kind of a chocolate, milk, a milk chocolate brown. And a 741. See what I tell you. All the 740s are in here. All right. These are our more accenty colors. Kind of a nice brown, red brown, yellow. <laughs> Oh, good old 318. I'm getting, I'm learning a lot about 318 being that, that gray. I've seen a lot of him in a lot of my colors. 600, my, my pretty raspberry pink. It's kind of a nice muted coral. Another gray, another gray. See, this is probably the closest thing you can get to a color I don't like, where it's like, almost it's like a a light pea soup <laughs> another gray coral good old 666 i wonder like when dmc decided to give red that color number like if they thought i so i just wonder i mean i know what the thought process was they were like haha the devil 666 but i just wonder like if they had any argument about it. Ooh. Kind of a dra olive drab. Kind of peachy. Dark gray. Kind of orangey tan. And then like a light orange. So yeah, I mean, just looking at this thing, I am just in love. Like this, this flower right here, I'm just enchanted looking at that and in her hair and their faces and oh God, guys, I am so excited about this painting. Um, I just, looking at it right now, I wish I'd gotten it sooner when I wasn't bogged down by paintings. I don't really feel like doing <laughs> so I could just start on it right away. Um, okay, so that's it for this one. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. Big old thumbs up. Yeah, please, please. Okay, yeah, whatever, I'm not going to beg. Um, but just give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more and see the finale to my unboxing of these four paintings, click the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when I update that, hit the bell. I'm going to put all this away and then film that last video for you. I will catch everyone on the flip side. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>